Welcome to a second example of a related rates problem that deals with a street light and a shadow. A street light is at the top of a 15 foot tall pole. A woman six feet tall walks away from the pole with a speed of four feet per second along a straight path. How fast is the tip of her shadow moving from her body when she is 45 feet from the base of the pole and how fast is the tip of her shadow moving away from the pole when she is 45 feet from the pole? Let's assume this is the light, which we know is 15 feet tall. Let's assume this is the woman, who we know is 6 feet tall. Let's let the length from the pole to the woman be x. Let's let the length of the shadow be equal to s which means the length from the pole to the tip of the shadow, this length here, would be x plus s, which we'll call y. So we'll say y equals x plus s. Looking at our diagram, notice how we do have similar triangles. We have this larger right triangle and we have this smaller right triangle. Now let's talk about the given information. The woman is walking at a speed of four feet per second, which would be how fast x is changing, which means dx dt, the change in x with respect to t, would be equal to positive four feet per second. We know it's positive because x is increasing as she walks away. Next, we're concerned when she's 45 feet from the pole, which means x is equal to 45 feet. And for part A, and for part A, we're trying to determine how fast the tip of her shadow is moving from her body, which would be ds dt. The change in s with respect to time. And then for part B, to determine how fast her shadow is moving away from the pole, that would be dy dt. We also know y equals x plus s. To find ds dt, we need to find an equation that relates s and x, which we can then solve for s and then differentiate to find ds dt. And because we have similar triangles, corresponding sides of similar triangles are proportional, so we can set up a proportion to form our equation. Notice this side of the large triangle corresponds to this side of the smaller triangle, so we can say, 15 is to 6 as, again looking at the larger triangle, notice how this side of the larger triangle corresponds to this side of the smaller triangle. Because we want an equation in terms of x and s, we'll let this length be x plus s, so we'd have x plus s to length s. Now we can cross multiply and solve for s and then differentiate with respect to t. But notice that 15, 6 does simplify. There's a common factor of 3 here. Let's go ahead and simplify that now. 15, 6 simplifies to 5 halves. And now let's cross multiply. 5 times s must equal two times the quantity x plus s. So that would give us the equation 5s equals two times the quantity x plus s. And now we'll distribute. So we have 5s equals 2x plus 2s. Subtract 2s on both sides, that would give us 3s equals 2x. Divide both sides by 3 and we have s equals two-thirds x. Now that we have this equation that relates s and x, we'll differentiate both sides with respect to t and then find ds dt. Let's go ahead and do this on the next slide. So we'd have the derivative of s with respect to t must equal the derivative of two-thirds x with respect to t. The derivative of s with respect to t would be one times ds dt or ds dt. 
and the derivative of two-thirds x with respect to t would be two-thirds times dx dt. is equal to two-thirds times dx dt, which you know is four feet per second. Which means dx dt is equal to eight-thirds feet per second. So we can say the tip of the shadow is moving at a rate of eight-thirds feet per second from her body when she is forty-five feet from the pole where eight-thirds feet per second is approximately 2.67 feet per second. Before we go to part B, notice that dsdt is not dependent on x. dsdt is equal to a constant times dx dt. So regardless of how far she is from the pole, the SDT will not change as long as she's walking at the same pace. Now for part B, we wanted to determine how fast the tip of her shadow is moving away from the pole when she is forty-five feet from the pole, which remember would be dy dt. To find dy dt, we'll use the fact that we know that y equals x plus s. If we differentiate both sides of this equation with respect to t, we would have dy dt equals dx dt plus ds dt. We were given dx dt and we just found ds dt, which means dy dt would be equal to four feet per second plus eight-thirds feet per second well four or four over one plus eight-thirds, multiply here by three over three to get a common denominator, we would have twenty-thirds, which means dy dt equals twenty-thirds feet per second. Which means the tip of the shadow is moving at a rate of twenty-thirds feet per second from the pole when she is forty-five feet from the pole and twenty-thirds feet per second would be approximately six point six seven feet per second. I hope you found this helpful.